The second box is here. Japan Trade Premium. Opening. I tucked it up so I can pull it out with my one hand. Because again, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to go through all of this. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my, is there stuff inside? What is this is just like a little. Is it just a little? Oh my god. Adorable. A little squishy. Squishy, squishy. Ah, uh, look at the stuff we have. I can't wait. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. And again, a lovely guide. Look, go to contest. The mini package. The original and premium. Um. I also have- oh, there we go! Special premium bonus. I'm going to slow and go to pick his switching new fortune for the rest of 2021. Place in a disc slash sale for ever you may need some luck and a cute companion close by it. Oh my god. I love it. It's adorable. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I am happy. Golden little picky. <gasps> <gasps> this is killing me. Oh my god. This is gonna be amazing. Oh. Wait, this one says two, but there's a tree. Oh. This time around, I'll be reading the description of all items while. while. It'll have to be before or after, so you'll have a bit of understanding, and I don't mispronounce anything, or at least don't make a mistake about what it is, <laughs> conceptually, that is. Um, I'm not sure what way I'll start, or if I'll start from the mini, or just from the top and down. But I'll figure that out. So we will be starting from the top of the fire and um, just work our way down through everything. And this thing is a number chocolate. These mini chocolate pieces come in the shape of numbers from one zero to nine. Which number did you get? And in this case, I have number three, and number two is illustrated in the guy. But it should be the same, and it's apparently chocolate. I don't know if it's just regular chocolate, and then it's shaped. Yeah, just say it's like chocolate. I'll get one of a different color just to verify. Not bad, but in chocolate. But yes, just dark chocolate, not like dark chocolate or white chocolate or such, but regular light chocolate. So good, and I like it. <laughs> it's fun. If you want, you could collect them all and then have from zero to nine. That would be kind of <laughs> amazing, actually. I like it though. But they seem to have the same amount because there's. Seven there, and there's seven here. So even though the shape might be different, they don't cheat you on the amount. Okay. The next offering in this video, I pre open it because with one hand it might be too difficult. They have fun little faces on them, and the one we have here is Dango. And Dango is a Japanese stuffing made from rice flavor. Like rice flour mixed with early rice flour and glutinous rice flour. This particular dango is tree colored and sprinkled with sugar. That sounds nice. Um, I'll start with a bite of the. Oh god, there's very, very soft. Oh no. Uh, okay. I should have taken like a four. Oh, it's dripping. It's tripping. <laughs> Be careful when you pick it up. Okay, so we're starting with the yellow one. 
Oh, so much sugar. Oh, so much. Okay, that's... It tastes lovely, but it might be a little overpowered by all the sugar, because that was a lot like a punch of sugar. <laughs> Not that I don't do mind it, because I like it, but that was just... <laughs> God. Adorable faces, though. But <laughs> one more time. The next victim in all exploration of Japanese treats are chocolate daifuku. Sorry if I mispronounced anything in these videos. I am trying my best, but I'll probably butcher some of it. Uh, sink your taste buds into this pillowy, soft, sweet marshmallow fusion a chocolate filling inside. Oh my god, is it like the strawberries ones? Because that was amazing. If it's the same, just with chocolate instead, I will adore it. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's soft. And there's a tiny little marshmallow man outside. I love ya. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh my god. Oh well. Here we go. Softy soft. Love it. Mm. There I got clown. I can taste the chocolate. It's good, but it's a bit overpowered by the marshmallows. Like, I get it, but it's a small strife of it. It's mostly marshmallow, but it's still good. Though probably if you're aiming to get the chocolate taste, this might not be the treat for you, but I think it had a fine balance. Mostly. And because I like marshmallows and I like chocolates, so I don't mind if one is more than the other, but for somebody who's more desiring the chocolate and don't like marshmallow, this might not be your treat, I'm afraid. But look at the adorable <laughs> character in front. Oh my god. That was one of the things I love a lot. Because there's a cute character here. You have to pick one where it had a cute drawing as well. And it's shining and... The, a dango has faces. It's just <laughs> good stuff. The adventure goes on and we continue with Squid Cinnabee. Uh, take your taste buds on your neat trip with this Squid Cinnabee. A fried rice cracker with rich squid flavor. I should have reopened this. Forgive me. It's on the lazy side. Oh, it is not. That's a strong smell. Oh, I hope it tastes okay because I've never been one for fish and sea life food. So, wish me luck. It, it's okay. Not a horrendous experience, not the best, but I think that's because in general I just don't like seafood. But it's decent, like it's not bad. I think if you're more to seafood this would be a lovely treat because it doesn't come on too strong, but it's not like hidden behind all the cracker <laughs> so <coughs> that's good okay the next one is animal mittens cute ones in need of 
mint sellers, if you keep this mint in your bag or backpack to have handy when you may need it most. You can either receive the naked or curry frog, frog packaging. And I have gotten the frog. I do not mind. Oh no, mini! That's really mini mini. Like tiny tiny. Tiny. Like it's so tiny. Oh my god. That is so tiny. I love it. It's like little frog eggs. I wonder how it would look with the cats. Like, would it be the same size? But I presume this might just be regular mints, but I'll be checking to be sure. A bit on the sweet side, but yeah, it's mint mint. I love it though. <laughs> Tiny cute frog or cat. Tiny cute frog or cat. Doo -doo -doo. Though I think the frog is a bit more fitting because it looks like little frog eggs. So. <laughs> but I love cats as well, so I'm not complaining. Okay, the next victim in all quest is this um, milk, nuts, and cranberry Kit Kat missile. Uh, It's a Kit Kat pouch. This unique type of Kit Kat features chocolate ball chunks made with different ingredients. Enjoy one of three.
friends each other. It takes one of the, my favorite candies, Kit Kat, along with uh, some healthy stuff like berries and milk. And it produces an amazing product. I love that. I recommend this one highly. God. I'm gonna enjoy these. I'm gonna take my time with them. God, I feel good. Well, the next victim on our path is this gun. Uh, grape Sakura gum. Those gummy candy stripes, rich in grape flavor. Eat strand by strand or chew on it all at once. Oh, damn. Everything seems to have like a very, very strong smell when I open it. Oh, it's a little stripes. Oh my god. Okay. It might just put you me, but it looks like. Oh no, it's grapes, not blueberries. I've been in panic and putting these off for lo so long. Oh, well, not so long. When you think about how much there is in the package, but still, I haven't exactly been inviting. Yes. This is the worst filming I'll ever have. In this whole video, I think I, I'm gonna go back to pre opening after this one because steam. It might not be my genuine reaction to the smell that hits me, if any, but it'll be better than this fighting. Okay. Give me a sec. I'll and here we go. It's free. It's free. It's supposed to be able to like pull and then yes, freedom. Put it on there. And you can have like stripes you can eat. If you don't want a lot at once. So this is what I'll be going with and let's hope. Okay, yeah, it's really gummy. Not a lot of flavor, or maybe that's just me. Like it tastes grapey, personally, like it's the texture is a bit weird, but that might just be because I'm not used to it. But it really lives up to the like gummy in its name. A bit oh odd, but not not bad. I think it's just a preference point. This isn't um, my kind of treat. Like I love that I got to try it in the box, but it's probably not something that I would buy of my own volition. Out in the shops, but it's not terrible. Like none of the things so far has been like terrible. The next star of the show, it is the rare chocolate caramel milk truffle, only available during winter. Are these special raw chocolate truffles? Using caramel paste and fermented butter, it has a rich and smooth caramel milk flavor. Indulge this winter alongside a glass of milk, tea, or beverage of your choice. In that case, I'm just taking plain water, but I'll go in and, like I said, pre open. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, I'll be trying. It doesn't smell like much. Um, but it looks nice, so like it's a final ball. It seems to have a layer of powder, but it doesn't 
like spill them all over the place. So that's nice. I was a bit worried about that. Oh, that's nice. The powder isn't too much. It doesn't stick. It goes down nicely and the soft insides are good. I like the taste. A little tough. Oh, it started to spill. Not so badly, but that's fine. It's gone down. Took some water to it. It it does fade a bit due to that. It might be better with milk. I'll have to get that a try. But personally so far it's been a good experience. Might be better with milk than water though. I'll have to try that. But I loved it. I liked it at least. It it's a mixed opinion. Like it's decent, but it's not a top of the barrel, if you know. Zero cheese. This is the chosen victim this time. Tito's are sold in more than 40 countries around the world. Try Japan's take on this classic corn snack with this bag. Each Tito has a cheesy texture. The aroma of cheddar cheese and the fries taste makes it hard to eat just a few rich tastes of them. I've actually, to be honest, never seen Cheetos in Denmark, but that might just be me. I might just missed it. It's not bad. But it kind of just tastes like cheese pop. Though the all taste is like different. They're not bad. But I don't know how to explain it. It might just be because I'm not used to them, but Well, not that they could be better. I don't know how they could be better, but considering that I've read what the history of Cheetos are and even seen the movie on it, it's surprising how good they are. When you think about what it really is, like technically it's a raised product from originally cow food that has now been made out into treats that we human eat. So I'm not sure which one is switch, but we have umbel cheese and um, umbel is a popular crunchy and savory corn snack that's huge hit in Japan. Uh, this it is in the cheese one has strong cheesy taste like a really big Cheeto. And then there's the sugar rusk, um, and they've added another one because um, I'm by the coat. Um, different from the usual one, the second sugar rusk is salty and uncoated, um, and this addition comes in a sugary butter flavor of sugar rusk. Which do you prefer more? I'm not sure, but I'll be opening both and try them both open. I think this one is the sugar one because it's lighter, and this one is the cheese one because it's very orange, like the Cheetos. So we'll be trying this one because apparently it's supposed to be like a big Cheeto. So this one first. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's 
basically a big Cheeto. Not in a bad way. <laughs> Just a lot. Oh, it's hollow. I did not realize that. But it tastes good. Like, it, it's the same impression as the Cheetos. But, like I mentioned, just <laughs> like a big staff of it. So, this one is supposed to be uh, sugar. So, kind of sugar but with salt, if I understand correctly. I'll give it a try. Oh, hold on. That was so much sugar. Oh, damn. That was a lot of sugar. It's almost like just a stab of sugar. I could, I could taste the corn, kind of. But it's coated in sugar and it kind of overpowers it. But they're both good. Um, depending on how you like to eat food, though, you would have to choose between Cheetos or Ambium. So if you like a staff, it's these Umbrian cheese sticks, but if you just prefer the little bits you can take, then it's the Cheetos. But it, it's kind of the same taste. Like, uh oh, take a Cheeto and that. And then the staff. Yeah, it's almost the same taste. This one is a bit softer if you don't want it too strong, but it's almost the same Cheetos and this umbra stick. We go on the journey. We are gonna try revenue. Revenue, I think it is. I've heard about it and I wanted to try it for a while, so I can't wait to try it. Um, this one is a blend of plum vinegar and plum meat extract. It is both sweet and sour, giving you the best of both worlds with this human candy. And I do not think that's true once again. Can I do it with one hand? Perhaps. Oh yes, I can. Nope. Never mind. I say I'll pretty open and then I forget to do it. So now we're here. Hooray. <laughs> oh god. At least I can be honest. Uh, this is not very professional. But I'm just something I do for fun. Look at this. Look at this. I regret the spaghetti. There we go. Free carnage. What do you? It went fine. found it. It's out. Ready? Vinegar! It's not bad. Like, I can feel the sorrow. No doubt about it. But I can feel the sweet as well. And it's not an improper balance. Like, it's actually very equal so it's not bad i like it i know <gasps> oh my god i don't know can you see it it has the smiley face can you see it oh my god i don't know it's the light too much can you see it in the shade you can smiley face look it's the dude on the front. Oh my god. It's the dude. <laughs> He's on the candy. Oh my god. And smooth button. It's got a smooth button. And then it's got the face. Oh my god. It's adorable. 
I couldn't resist it any longer. The drink is time. I've had it in the cooler for a bit, so it's not warm and too yucky. Um, the description is Pepsi Refresh Shot. Feeling tired? In need of a recharge? Take this refresh shot of Pepsi with a classic cola taste and double the caffeine. Surely wake you up in your mood. Oh, it's an energy drink. Oh no. I don't know if that'll work well. Oh well, we'll take it. We're trying it. Save me. It does taste like Pepsi. But I'm afraid I don't know what refresh usually tastes like, so I can't really compare the energy drinks. But I can definitely feel the reaction already. It is an energy drink. But it tastes like Pepsi. It's good. I probably won't ever buy another one, because energy drinks are not me. But it tastes good. I like proper Pepsi. The next victim on this list, and it is a Dongri Cider Gum. This cider flavored hard candy has a surprise gum that you can chew on once you get to its center. It doesn't smell f much. I like the color. Like a piece of silver. Anyways, I'm gonna try it. Wish me luck. It's a lovely taste. But it's okay. Okay, it'll take a while before I'm to the core, I think. So I'll be back when I've gotten to the gum to give it a review on that. But the outer one it tastes lovely. I can precisely place what it is, but it's sweet, and I'm a sucker for sweetness, so. Okay, so I reached the gum, and it, it's sweet. It feels like it has had a liquid inside, but the case, taste is kind of the same as just the outer rim. But it's lovely, I like had candies would come inside and it wasn't a terrible taste so that's the important part this will look it'll be easy to open so i'm gonna try my luck i may fail nope did it did i have no oh betrayal betrayal this is what betrayal looks like uh. yeah no see That's a lovely smell. Oh no! It cracked! Sadness! Oh my god! No! Oh well. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that! Chipstar is a chip brand that has been loved for many years in Japan. This edition has white chocolate, carefully coated on one side, and exquisite harmony of the moderate sweetness and light saltiness of white chocolate milk with the potato chip makes it a match made in salty sweet heaven. Okay. Seems to be a bit broken. Sad you know. Uh, nope. All broken. Sad. That was so sad. Look. Chocolate? Chip. Chocolate? Chip. I must confess, I'm not the biggest fan of white chocolate, but this, this taste is great it like it did promise. Sorry about that. Mispronunciation. Okay, yeah, I love them. That is so good. The adventure continues. Umi plum chips. Uh, Quaria, 
Oh, I'm gonna butcher this. Koike is known for making unique potato chips in Japan. They're strong, brand line futures unusual but delicious flavors. This edition is of um plum in Japanese. Flavor the dried bonito plum meat, salty saltiness of plumbing, sisu, and salt create a unique taste that we love. Let us know how you like it. Wish me luck. Oh, it's pretty good. At least personally, I like it. I don't know how to explain the flavor though. It just tastes lovely. Second to last item on the list. Black Thunder is a popular chocolate bar in Japan. The bar contains a cocoa flavored cookie bar mixed with Japanese style rice puffs that is then coated with a final layer of chocolate needs. We say more? So chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Three layered chocolate if I understand that correctly. But we fail. No, 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 no. It looks delicious, at least. It tastes okay, but is is it just me, or does that look like Oreo? It might be. It tasted like Oreo. It's not bad. Anyways, next. The last thing of our box. We have a little guide here. We already done the first step because that would be a lot of hoping that I would not have been able to do with one hand. How oh, it's supposed to line neatly. Okay, there we go. Um, it's basically take the stick. Afterwards, when you pour these in, the chocolate and... Confetti? Candy? I don't know. And then afterwards, dipping it. But to take the words out of my mouth in the guide. Chocolate banana. This one's... Mm. D I E do it yourself. So it's a favorite that will have you making your own chocolate covered banana candy. The set makes mini banana candies and it's great fun for children and adults alike. So uh, come. No. I did it I think this through yet again. It's in. It did not break. Take the chopper. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Oh no, it's not in far enough, is it? Oh no! No! <laughs> the candy is out everywhere. No! Not in the chocolate. Oh well. This did not go as planned. Oh, actually, it turned out quite nice. Look at the bit. I wish it would focus. I would wish so much that it would focus. Just on anything. Something. Yep, no. Give it up. Can you see it? No. Tasty time. tastes lovely like it's almost like the candy does take like tastes like a banana and I love bananas so I don't mind that and then you can actually feel the oh no <laughs> no <laughs> no come back come back ah. you can taste the chocolate and I think this is pop rock the things you put on but I haven't actually tasted a real 
chocolate banana, so I can't comprehend how to compare it. I need to figure out how to make chocolate banana, and then I can return to it and compare it. Because uh, they still have um, their Shoggy Mart, which you can buy any of the products you get in the Japan crate that you like. And then keep eating it if you find any favorites. I'm just doing the crates because I want to explore a lot of stuff and it's a decent price for the large assortment of um, items you get. But this was lovely and I'll try to figure out how to do chocolate bananas to compare and then that'll be done sometime, hopefully. Not soon, I'm afraid, depending on everything, but still.